sounds extraordinary. Um, not only subject matter, like you say, people don't want to tackle uh, interracial marriage. I mean, you see it, you look at it, you know it exists. Uh, it's more prominent now than ever. I mean, it's, it's more prominent than it was years ago. Right. Uh, you had Think a 600 like pound gorilla. Nobody right. wants to recognize. Nobody wants to recognize it, and no, and people still today, um, if you see a, a interracial couple, I mean, you see it, but you don't embrace it to some degree. You don't say, "Oh yeah, this is really what I want the world to be interracially." Uh, and if you come from an era, uh, you know, like, like when I was born and where I was raised, and the era that I was in, it was something that you didn't even um, entertain. I right. mean, and if and it evolved to today's society where it's acceptable. However, if you ingrain with a certain type of attitude or a certain type of uh, what you may call who you are, you're not going to embrace it. It's just like the homosexuality situation right now where people are trying to get marriage going. People are not going to embrace it to some descent, to some degree. They're not going to embrace it. So even though it's 2011 and interracial dating is uh, going on tremendously, uh, people still may look at it and don't embrace it. That kind of makes sense. Oh, yeah, that makes makes good sense. Um, I don't know whether we have time or I can read a passage from my book, Russell, but I'll, I'll give I'll I, I, leave I that up to you to, if you I, think. Uh, I, would, I, would love you, I would love you to read a passage, a segment from the book. Okay, can I do that right now? Do it right now. Okay. Um, just for a little background, the um, the uh, um, the character, the male character, um, wants to tell his wife that there's a reunion coming up and he wants to go. And he's going to be going basically to see his friends, but he's also going to see uh, his, his, his white uh Ex uh, romance person, um, he uh, wants to be up front with his wife about everything. So I'm going to read some of that, and uh, hopefully you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, he's approaching his wife, so he says, uh, "Well, I just received notice of my 35th class reunion, which I'm planning to attend. It's going to be great seeing old friends again." Uh, and this is his wife. I'm glad you're planning on planning to attend because I know how important it is for you to renew past friendships. You're very good about things like that and keep me in touch with the past. I wish I had your drive to do the same. I have something to share with you, Paul. Paul took a deep breath and let it out, let the air out. Frown, line, frown lines appeared on, on Terry's forehead. That's his wife. Uh, Paul, you're scaring me. What's wrong? I dated a white girl in high school, and our relationship caused an uproar. Our parents, teachers, friends, and other nosy people tried to break it up, but we continued our affair. We were so into each other. Anyway, Irene uh, would probably be at the reunion. And, well, I haven't seen her in 30 years, and I want to keep in touch with her even after the reunion. But I just wanted you to know because it's on my mind. We're just friends. That's it. I'm telling you now because I don't want to keep anything from you. Terry's jaw, sorry, Terry's jaw dropped. She slowly removed her long legs from his lap and sat straight up on the couch. Paul, what are you trying to say? Do you want to see your former white lover now that you're an older adult to get back with her because society wouldn't approve of it in the 60s? Is that what you mean? No. The palms of his hands flew open, appealing for Terry to be reasonable. You don't understand. You're damn right I don't understand. And I'm still waiting for an explanation. Terry, all I want to do is to see her at the reunion and renew the friendship. That's it. I'm not interested in having an affair. You already know how I like to visit the past. That's who I am. Remember the time I went to Alabama to find Bill Bradshaw? How about the time I went to California to locate Jesse Reyes? Paul, you just mentioned two males, no females. Wouldn't you say that's just a bit different? 
This may sound different, but it's my honest intention. I don't quite understand what the hell this is all about. I want you to see your old friends, but the way you presented this situation about this white lady is weird. Why didn't you tell me about it before? There was no need to. You never asked about my adolescent relationship. I never said anything about it. We were just in high school. We were babies. But honestly, Paul, can't you see how different it is? I don't want you, I don't want to belabor the point, but suppose the situation were reversed and I wanted to go to a high school reunion specifically to see, see a former cl- male classmate who happened to be white. What would your reaction be? Paul nodded. He bowed his head and for a second raised it just before speaking. Yes, I can see your concerns. Um, look, I'm not interjecting race here, but you're you're not going to tell me how a sister, I'm sorry, you're not going to tell how a sister, I'm sorry, you're not going to tell a, a sister how white women operate. They're aggressive. They take no prisoners and will do anything to get in bed with whoever they pursue, especially black men. You know, we sisters have a long institutional memory about how how white women won over our black men by spoiling and giving them anything they ask for. But go ahead, Paul. You have a good time at the reunion. Do you think I'd risk losing? Okay, I don't want to talk about this no more. Terry rose abruptly, headed to the bedroom, and slammed the door behind her. What did I stir up, Paul said, scratching his head. That is a serious segment, but it was just listen to that segment that you read. Uh, his wife, she picked up on that immediately that something would probably not be to her benefit by him going to this reunion and meeting up with this white woman that he dealt with years ago. Right. I mean, he. he I mean, she picked up that right away. Uh, when when people want to see people from their past or they want to, inter, you know, interact with people from their past. They like those people. You know what I'm saying? They like those people, man. Those people mean something to them. So if the person says, I'm going to the class reunion to see my, uh, and she's telling his wife that he had some kind of relationship with her 30 years ago, mm-hmm. and he's telling her about that now, that means that he liked that woman. You know, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He liked that woman, man, and that and, so, and those are the kind of situations that people prey on. You know that's why, I like you know, you know when you go, I mean, it's, to me, it's, it's this penny wise and powerful is for him to even tell her that. You know what I'm saying? He's telling her.